Hello friends, welcome back. So with this video of uh, introductory video of uh, Databricks Certified Associate Developer and uh, predominantly for the Spark uh, Development uh, Developer Certificate. Uh, uh, so this course, whatever uh, is we are bringing up, uh, you can see or you can follow this playlist. So uh, and this is intended for the Databricks Certified Associate Developer. If you are uh, if you want to get certified in Databricks uh, for this certification, uh, that is uh, Spark Developer Associate uh, uh, certificate certification. And uh, so once you uh, once you follow this course uh, in a sequence and uh, without any break, uh, and you'll be able to understand uh, the Spark concept in uh, in detail, and you'll be able to take that certification course uh, anytime after the completion, and. Uh, so I would I would recommend you to please watch till uh, the end of the end of the course so that you will get uh, maximum out of it. And uh, this is as it is in the YouTube platform. Uh, so we are uh, presenting uh, from this channel, uh, so which is completely absolutely free. And uh, I hope this will be useful for uh, many of the people. And uh, I would recommend you to please uh, share, subscribe uh, with your uh, share and subscribe, and also. Uh, uh, share with your friends who will be uh, who who would like uh, or who would be interested to learn uh, regarding databricks so with that uh, like uh, why why i'm bringing this course is uh, spark definitely in the big data space or the data processing or data engineering space or data science or machine learning space uh, spark is uh, predominantly used right and uh, so whatever you see the hadoop cluster uh, is mostly built on the concept of MapReduce and Spark. So it is very important to understand Spark as a data engineer and if you are in a data space that is data science and machine learning space. Uh, and also like uh, uh, in the today's words what we are dealing with is completed data driven approach and Spark has uh, Spark is the standard big data cluster processing framework. So there is uh, no competitor, I would say, in this space uh, for big data clustering, uh, for especially for the processing, with respect to Spark, because Spark was uh, Spark came up as an open source, right? And uh, so it has been uh, utilized by Databricks uh, for the uh, for their processing engine. And uh, in this course, we will learn in detail uh, about the Spark architecture, uh, their core APIs, and uh, so and and the different topics of the Apache Spark, uh, which uh, we will see in a uh, in a moment. So uh, before starting, if you are new to this channel, we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications. So with that, uh, let's get started. So before we uh, start uh, the video, uh, the most important uh, points to note is. Uh, make sure you uh, you use a headphone for the best experience and adjust volume accordingly because uh, each uh, devices might be different you are using mobile or uh, tablet or uh, desktop uh, please uh, choose the volume accordingly so that you will not uh, si since the video will be long so you will not get irritated or you will not get exhausted and also please make sure you pause and take a notes wherever it is needed so because uh, so that is how you learn uh, uh, like whenever you, you take a notes, you actually kind of uh, uh, make sure you know things or acknowledge things. So we would recommend you to take a notes uh, as and when needed uh, during this course. And also we recommend you to full uh, watch the full video, right? And don't skip any part of the video because uh, you might uh, skip the important piece and uh, follow the sequence uh, of the course uh, as uh, designed in the in this playlist. And also practice as you go through the course. So it is not just the seeing the video or um, following the course uh, would recommend you to please uh, uh, go through the data bricks and uh, in the data bricks you we would recommend you to uh, run the course run the core commands uh, or the notebooks that we'll be providing as part of this course and any suggestions uh, or questions please comment uh, them in the comment section if you need a uh, practice note notebooks so then please comment uh, your name in the comment section and also Send, send a request mail to uh, yt, uh, dot, uh, the data channel at the right, gmail.com as mentioned here. So with this, uh, let's get started. So whom uh, the this course is designed for? The audience for this course, right? 
so if you are a data engineer or if you are a developer maybe you are from an amateur from to the professional so this course is for you because any data engineer would definitely uh, helpful and uh, the person who uh, is uh, actually uh, who, who needs to understand the apache spark and its capabilities uh, so definitely that person also uh, for that uh, those people also this uh, course will be helpful uh, and uh, who is uh, and this is important who is the, the people who is looking for databricks certification uh, that is a databricks certified associate developer for apache spark so if you follow this course we would uh, uh, we would guarantee or we would uh, claim that uh, basically if you follow this course in a sequence and you will practice uh, uh, along with us uh, so we would uh, it would definitely help for you as a databricks associate developer certification and any data enthusiast uh, who is in the data domain and want to explore uh, more about the data and its uh, related technology so this course uh, definitely will uh, bring more perspectives for them as well okay and uh, what are the different prerequisites uh, so when we say prerequisite what you what is expected from you before you start the course so we are not expecting much things so few of the understanding of the basic understanding of sql and uh, so that will be helpful and basic knowledge of scala or any other programming language uh, would be helpful because uh, uh, if you learn any programming uh, if, you, if you have uh, this uh, some programming uh, background so it will help because the course is mostly designed uh, using PySpark and the Scala programming language uh, so it would help but uh, it is not uh, mandatory and also the basic uh, uh, knowledge about the data and uh, so what is data and what is the some database concepts uh, so that would also uh, kind of a help and uh, definitely no prior uh, spark knowledge is required here uh, the reason is we are explaining both the theoretical and practical aspects so we are not expecting any uh, programming or uh, uh, any kind of a spark background so we go in a uh, step by step uh, from the theoretical to uh, uh, practical and with uh, from basics to advanced level in a sequence in, in a sequence so if you just follow the course uh, uh, so that is that should be enough for that so course content uh, as you can see uh, at a high level so the course is uh, designed for uh, these uh, topics or these uh, sections uh, but uh, as you see in the playlist uh, in this playlist in uh, youtube channel so there might be multiple videos but uh, so all those videos will fall under these any of this category but at a high level uh, so it's very important to understand the apache spark architecture how it is uh, designed for distributed processing distributed execution and distributed uh, uh, data storage so that means uh, it is it is always uh, important to know how you store the data in a distributed manner uh, so that will depend uh, that will definitely impact uh, so how you uh, process that in a distributed uh, uh, manner so th both are uh, inter interconnected uh, how do you store the data so that will definitely impact uh, how do you process the data right and uh, coming to the data transformations so there are different data transformations uh, uh, so as part of the Apache Spark, uh, so as a developer, it is important to understand these data de transformation techniques uh, or data transformations. Uh, so uh, we will, in detail, we will explain uh, different kinds of uh, data transformation with all the practical knowledges and uh, uh, with all the practical uh, uh, knowledge and uh, uh, executions of uh, each and every data frame, uh, kinds of data frames, right? Uh, transformations, and uh, we also kind of. Uh, uh, so like uh, this this will uh, we will also cover the certification uh, exam certification details and tips so how what are the details uh, exam certification details how do you kind of attempt the certifications what are the different uh, uh, like uh, questions you can expect in the exams what is the duration and uh, all of the details and uh, we will have those uh, we will have a section for that so we would recommend you to please watch the video till the end so to get uh, the maximum out of this uh, course so you have seen at a high level what are the different uh, things or whatever whatever the different uh, topics at a high level but in detail if you want to see what this course is about uh, so these are the topics uh, uh, that you can expect as part of this course uh, so definitely the architecture part of it which is a combination of more of a theory and uh, some practical and uh, you see the spark uh, execution and cluster nodes and execution of uh, hierarchy of spark and there are different data frame operations as you can see from here uh, 
so data data frame uh, schema and data type uh, data data frame api and sql function data frame rules to filter data data frame data sorting and how do you handle nulls in data frame and also uh, data frame creation from uh, files and also scala selecting columns from uh, different uh, different different data uh, from a data frame and manipulating the column of a data frame and saving the result to external source like uh, amazon s3 or azure data lake storage etc and uh, how do you store how do you create a user defined functions and uh, what is the use of it uh, and what is the spark uh, sql functions and data frames as a groups and uh, uh, like how you also understand uh, how to use a databricks community edition so this is important to for you to uh, in, uh, there's no installation for databricks so definitely it will be uh, since it is it is a cloud hosted you will understand how to use the community version in your web browser so if you can just create a community version you can use the browser and execute uh, your, your commands uh, as and when uh, it is needed right so this is a this is what at a high level these are the topics you will be uh, you can expect to learn from this course in detail and uh, so so thanks for watching definitely and uh, so as we mentioned so we would recommend you to please follow the entire playlist so this is a just an introductory video but uh, we are coming up with a full set of uh, detailed videos and uh, so if you have any questions or if you need any notes so definitely please reach out to us uh, in this uh, the email id mentioned here and in the description you can uh, find uh, uh, different social media uh, connection or links uh, to connect with us so thanks for watching